Hey guys, this is a quick introduction to Visor. Visor is a platform for creating and sharing virtual reality content on the web. You can find it by going to our website at visor.io. I'll show you how it works. Let's cl click try the beta button here. And then Visor will create a new scene for us. And every scene has a unique URL. Here it is. If you send this to a friend and they join, they will join the scene, they can actually see uh, everything you do in real time and you can actually edit this scene together with your friend, just like you would do at Google Docs. So I'll hit the tab to hide the graph for a second and at the bottom right, I'm going to click the editor camera. So we have this nice 3D scene editor here and in here, if I click an object like the bird here, I get these handles and I can move the object around the scene like this. And if your friend would be viewing the scene, they would see these changes in real time and even on mobile. So if you load the same URL on mobile, you'd see the changes happen on there too. These wireframe, wireframes here represent lights. And I can also move the lights around and I can sort of zoom in and out and I can pan it. I can rotate all that stuff. Visor also has a full blown visual programming editor. So let's hit tab and I can see this visual programming graph here. So these boxes here represent the elements in our scene right now. So we have point light one, point light two, those are the lights here, a 3D model, that's the flamingo, the floor and the sky sphere, which creates the blue sky for us. So let's hit this pencil edit button on the 3D model. And here I have parameters that affect the 3D model, which is the bird in this case. So let's click the change button here and I can change the object to be something else. Let's find a cool one from the list, panther. All right, here we have a running panther. So let's hide the tab, uh, the graph by hitting tab and select the panther and move it down to be on the floor. That's better like this. And yeah, uh, on top here we have a breadcrumb where I can navigate in the scene. And from here we can change all the elements and we can even add elements using this patch library over here. So let's try something completely different. I'll just select all and I'll hit backspace to delete everything. So from patch library, we can add elements to our scenes and we have some templates for getting started. So I'm just gonna add a 360 photo template. Let's do something fun with 360 photos. So I'll hit the pencil here to select a 360 photo from my library. This is a cool group photo we took like this. So since we have this visual programming editor, it means I can, I can do cool things to my photos. So I'll just hit the pencil here to edit parameters of the sphere and Right here in the material, we have a color input. So I can add a color picker like this, and I'll connect it to the color. And like this, I can manipulate the color on my photo. This is pretty neat. Okay. And this photo is actually a mono photo. It means it doesn't have any stereo depth to it. So Let's add some stereo content on top. So here we have our scene and I'll maximize that for a sec and I'll add a slot to our scene so I can add something and I'm going to add some particles to it. So here in the patch library, I have a section add particles. I'm adding a particle emitter here and connecting to the scene. And now we start seeing these particles, these diamonds raining down on our scene. So I'll edit that a bit. I'll change the particle to be a more beautiful one, like this flare here. And now we have this nice golden flares raining down on our, on our scene. I'll give them some more lifetime. Yeah. And now I think this is pretty cool. I want to share it with my friends. So I'll just hit the publish button here. I'll give it a name, group photo, hit publish. And here we go. This is the published photo. And here we have the particles raining down. And this is now ready to be shared in Facebook, Twitter, what have you. So this was a really, really quick introduction, the visor. 
um, we are going to be posting a lot more videos on our YouTube channel. So please follow our, our Twitter at visor underscore VR and you won't miss a thing. Thank you for watching. See you soon.